Windows Error Code 0XC0000221. So if you're getting this error when you start up Windows and you're getting like this completely blue screen with this error code message, I want to help you fix this this specific error code in Windows 10, 11, or whatever Windows that you have. So it could be one of two things. It could be a hardware issue on the computer, or it could be something that's a corrupted system file in Windows. So if you've recently installed something on your desktop or your laptop, wherever you have this error in, go ahead and remove it and make it the way it was before. So it could be, the, it could be RAM that you installed that looks like this. This is laptop RAM, or it could be desktop RAM that you just installed. Remove it, and then put in the old. And check your laptop or your desktop. Check the USB ports, the keyboards, or anything else, and see if you just re if you just installed something like a, a memory chip, like a USB memory, or an external mouse that you hooked up to the USB or a keyboard. Remove those, because those can actually be giving you this error. And then you know that it's an issue with the USB or whatever you have. It's possible it could be the power cord. So if you just replace the power cord, that could be an issue. Or it could just be that the power cord is going bad. So after you've checked all that, if you have not changed the RAM out, what I want you to do is, um, if you have changed the RAM out, go ahead and put it back the way it was. It could be an issue with the RAM. So at the very end, most likely it's not. At the very end, what I want you to do is you usually will have two RAM chips. Unplug it. If it's a laptop, take the battery out. And what I want you to do is remove both RAMs out of your laptop or your desktop while it's unplugged. Only put one in, start it up, and see if you get that error. If you get that error, um, then you know it's it could be that RAM chip. Unplug everything, take the battery out, and then try the other RAM chip, the second one, and then see if that's the issue. And if you are able to get through with no issue, then you know the other RAM chip is bad. So you would just need to replace that RAM chip. But wait till the very end to do that, because it could just be a corrupted file in your Windows. So let's go ahead and troubleshoot that. So in order to do that, what I want you to do is shut down your computer restart it in safe mode and in order to do that you just simply hold down the shift key the s-h-i-f-t key hold down the shift key turn it on or restart it and then what you're going to do is go to troubleshoot choose on the option screen choose startup settings and then click restart and go to the final final selection menu in safe mode and you want to and you could do it with or without internet access. Either one is fine. And the first thing I want you to do is, have you installed a new a new program, a new game or something, and then you're getting this error? It could be that game or there's something corrupted with the files in that game or that software that you installed. So what I want you to do is just simply uninstall that. You usually just go to Programs, All Add or Remove Programs. On the very bottom left, you should be able to type Programs and look and see if you have installed something uninstall it and then restart up your computer now after you've done that what I want you to do is do a system restore and that's basically going back in time to before you got that message and you can do a safe uh, system restore in safe mode and again you're going to be doing all this in safe mode so what you do is just type in restore in your search down here and it's going to take you to this screen what you want to do is click on system restore and you're going to click next and then you want to click on a restore point hopefully you've been doing restore points automatically and and go to a time and date before you started getting this error message and then you click next and restart the computer and see if you're still getting that blue screen okay next what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of disk checks on the hard drive and then we're going to see if we can find that error on the uh, the disk so what you're going to do is you're going to go com do the command prompt. So in search, just type in CMD, C's and Cat, M is Mike, D's and David, CMD. And then what you're going to do is under command prompt, you're going to right click. And when you right click, you're going to be doing it under administrator. So run as administrator. 
and then you're going to type the following after you see this uh, this code here. You're going to type SFC space forward slash scan now. And remember, you got to put a space after the C, and then hit enter. And then what you're going to do is run the full scan, restart, and see if that found any of the uh, the corrupted errors. If you've tried that one, start up the computer again in safe mode, and then you want to type in the following: DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health. And remember to put a space after M here, after E, and then after this E. Hit enter, and then what you're going to do is do that whole restore health restart the computer and then see if that will fix the issue. Next what I want you to do is you want to do a, a disk check and right here it says C so you're going to type in CHKDSK and by the way you're doing this as administrator in safe mode on on, on a disk check. SK space C I believe that's a semicolon the two dots space forward slash F space forward slash R and then I put C here but that's because that's the name of my hard drive and the way you check that is just type in PC and search and go to where here where it says Windows and as you can see here it's named C but in yours it might be E so you just have to type E here click enter and then do a full disk check and then see if that will remedy your problem and then next thing you want to do is you want to do a run command and you do a run command by just holding down the Microsoft key on the bottom left of your keyboard and then you hit R and then you want to type in clean MGR all one word clean MGR you click OK and what you're going to do is clean up disk system files and that's going to run a full uh, system file uh, cleaning and then you want to restart and see if you're able to to get fixed after that I want you to check your antivirus and run your full antivirus a full scan and then to do a full scan there might be a virus or something on your computer that's causing this issue and so for me specifically I got AVG but all, on all antiviruses to, to, to do a full scan on the bottom right of your computer next to the time you just right you just click on the little up arrow it looks like this an up arrow you click it to where you have on your icons and then you want to click on your antivirus and you want to run a full scan restart and then see if that will fix your issue and then again we talked earlier about removing all external devices if you um, if you have not gotten a new power cord it still could be the power cord so you may need to replace that and see if that will fix the issue. If you have another power cord to test out, that would be great. Okay, and then fin finally, last but not least, you would need to do a full factory restore reset. That could fix your issue, and try to do it with keeping your files, and then if you can't do it, then try to do it without keeping your files. Hopefully you got a backup. And at the very end of this video, I've made videos on every single model whether it's a ThinkPad or a Dell or an HP or an Acer I've made videos about how to do a full factory system restore on all computer models so I'm gonna link that video up here okay if one of these did fix your problem put in the comment section which one it fixed and then make sure you like this video and that you subscribe and I appreciate you watching